Guys, this market is on fire right now and it's very good for day trading and penny stocks. I went ahead and day traded today, made two trades. Made uh, one on BNGO, Bingo Head is his name -o. Did very good in that day trade. Then, you know, I took a re I took a break and decided, you know, I don't want to day trade, I'm already green. But then uh, I'm sitting here by my computer, I'm like, oh, this stock right here is running up pretty good. So I hopped in it real quick. And then right when I hopped in and dropped right down, but I cut my losses very quickly. So I didn't have a big loss on that. So I ended up staying really big green today. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the stocks that are traded. And at the end of the video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about you guys and what's happening with it right now. BINGO was absolutely so volatile today, crazy volatile. So I heard this thing popping off on the scanners in the morning right around 10 o'clock. And it started ripping right here. And I hopped in right around 160 mark, right at this last green candlestick right here. And then immediately after I hopped in, it started having a pullback here. And I was like, oh no. And I was watching it very closely, making sure I was going to bounce off this VWAP. And sure enough, it did. And then it just started ripping right here. But during the whole time this was going on, this stock kept on being halted. Then it would run for a minute or two, then halt. Then it would run for 10 seconds and halt. So it was actually starting to be very stressful because you don't know what's going to happen on a halt. It's just going to either bump up 10 cents, 20 cents, but it could also bump down 10 cents or 20 cents. So as soon as I saw this first red candlestick on a halt, I went ahead and took some of my position off here at 222. And then I basically got out of the stock here right around 245. And this was during the halt when it was going down. So then lunchtime came around and I was at the Greek getting my order of lunch and I was looking at the stock. I'm like, hmm, this is looking pretty good. I want to get into it. So I was going ahead and pay for my food. And then by the time I looked at this thing, it was already hopping up all the way up here. And I was like, oh crap, I missed it. And you can see the gaps on it here. You would gap up, halt, gap up, halt, gap up, halt. And there was literally no time to get in this stock. Like it would go live and like four seconds later, halt, gap up, four seconds, halt. So by this point, I was just like, I'm not even going to touch this thing with a 10 foot pole. Basically at this point, it was just entertainment for me. But I wasn't kicking myself for all this profit here that I lost. When a stock is halting this many times, let's see how many times it actually halted. I'm not going to even try to count all these halts. Look at all these halts. Absolutely insane. Has to be about 25 to 30 times it halted. But like I was saying, I'm not going to be kicking myself in the ass or anything just because I didn't make all this profit. Yeah, I could have actually made $1,500 instead of $258. But when a stock is halting that much, it could drop almost a dollar just like that. And you're going to lose everything. And that's basically what it did right up here. See, it was at 445 and then it dropped all the way down to just about 399 and then just dumped. And this happens very quickly. And it's hard to get out of a stock too when it's halting like that because you have to put a limit sell way below what you think it's going to be. So I was happy to come out of this green even though I could have made more money, but I, it's very stressful to be in a stock that is halted this much because you don't have any control over it. But on the bright side, I made my money and this was a very entertaining stock to watch today. So thank you, BMGO, for your excitement today. So this is the other stock here that was running up in the afternoon that I got into and actually lost money. I actually think I was just bored and I wanted to trade stocks, but I made some stupid, stupid calls on this trade. So I saw this trade happening right around in this area right here. And I said, I'm going to wait for a pullback. So I set in a limit buy right about at 216 as the stock was ripping up here. And then it started to pull back and I'm like, uh, I don't like how it looks. So I went ahead and got rid of that. I'm like, I don't want to do it, which was stupid. I need to listen to myself. Listen to what you know about trading. I got to keep telling myself the market is hot right now. The market is hot. So I didn't take the trade and then it started ripping up here and it ripped all the way up to 23. I'm like, all right, I'm going to wait for another pullback. I put the pullback in here right about at 249 ish. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Let's start ripping again, right? So the next candlestick was green and then it just boom started bouncing right down and I got right out of that stock. I ended up losing like $23 out of it. So I didn't lose a lot of money basically because I got the hell out of it very quickly. All right, while I'm at it, we're just going to go ahead here and take a UGAS. I had some people that weren't happy about my last video I made because I said that UGAS was going to end up being bearish. And I've been through this a lot with stock videos. When you say something bad about a stock that somebody is in, they're not going to like anything that you're saying. They don't want to believe you. But you know what? I, I really don't care. I'm speaking my mind and I say what I see is going to happen. And I saw that with you guys. I just wasn't expecting it to happen this soon. But like I was saying in the video, we are not on our winter run yet. I actually said October, but I meant to say November is the time that I want to get into you guys long. But it doesn't really matter because I'm still actually in you guys right now because it never hit my number that I thought I was going to hit. But anyways, the moral of the story here is I'm going to tell you the God honest truth, what I think about a stock and what it's going to do. And if you're holding that stock and you don't like that I'm saying that it's going to start crashing and not do good, 
I'm sorry. Maybe you have a problem. I don't know. I feel it would be fake though if I didn't tell you the honest truth. And I said, yeah, yeah, you gas is going to go. It's going to go up to the fucking moon. Everybody buy you gas, buy you gas. No, I'm going to tell you what I think, even if it's bad for you gas. So that being said, this is what I actually think about you gas right now. We are still on an upward channel. And it would be really nice for us to bounce off this. So tomorrow I'm hoping for a green day. I think it's probably going to end up being green day. If it is, it's good. Because that way we're staying on this upward upward channel. If not, our next line of support is right here where it bounced off last time right around 245. But anyways, I believe tomorrow is probably going to end up being a green day. If not, we're just going to be consolidating right down this channel in here. So if you guys have some time, make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. All right, I'm out.